YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we're going to be discussing my most recommended survival gear for under $30. So stick everybody and thank you for sticking with me like I said today we're gonna to be discussing my most recommended survival gear items for under $30 now for most of you who watch and follow my channel regularly you will have seen most of these items whether they've been in individual reviews my everyday carry in pack and bug out videos and such as that some of this stuff is newer and I've been testing it and I realize oh my gosh I have to include it in this video before the review comes out now, one quick announcement we're going to give you guys before we get started is we have our impending 50,000 subscriber giveaway and we just passed the 49,000 subscriber point here on our channel and where we're going to be giving away over $5,000 worth of awesome gear and prizes. And if you want us to get us there quickly, make sure you subscribe to this channel and share this video out with your friends and family in your social media networks. The very first item I want to go ahead and knock out is this tube light by UV Packlight. Now, we love this thing because it's a reusable glow stick. It's pretty freaking awesome. One of my favorite aspects about this, and for anybody who's followed my channel for a long time, you know I'm a huge advocate of these, because you can charge these for a very, very, very short amount of time, and they already start to glow, and they'll last about 10 hours. But for about six bucks, you can't go wrong for an everlasting glow stick. The next item on the list is my A Tactical A1S by A Tactical, or now they're known as, I think it's WowTac. But this is an 1150 lumen flashlight that has several different modes on it. You have some emergency functions. But uh, if you want to check out the re video review, just go and check out the A Tactical A1S video where I literally thrash on this thing harder than any flashlight. I threw it off a bridge and I pretty much tossed it and dunked it under every amount of water I could possibly imagine. So this is why this is my most recommended flashlight. Ah, the next item has got to be one of the most useful items that we've ever used here on the channel. This is the Epic Wipes. These things are freaking awesome. Now this is denoting the 10 pack you get for about 25 bucks. And I know a lot of you guys are like, 25 bucks for 10 wipes. But here's the thing, these wet wipes are about the size of a freaking towel. And if you get really muddy, nasty, and grimy, you'll be able to wipe yourself off. I, we like them so much, we actually made sure we include them in our camping trips and our travel packs when we go to places like PrepperCon and different expos. The next item is an EDC item, which is the Lever Gear Tool Card Pro, which also comes with a money clip. Now, I love this because you can this can double as a wallet, but there are a lot of freaking multi-tool cards out there, and they frankly suck. Now, this is the one that I actually keep in my wallet, and I have this variant right here if I ever want to use it for a money clip. But the tools actually work. They actually use a thicker, more durable form of steel, and for the money, you can't beat it. The next item on the list is the Hydro Blue Sidekick. This is a one ounce water filter, which is freaking awesome. It's got a pen style so you can drink it like a straw. But this thing will filter over 100 gallons of water in a one ounce size. Now there's a lot of people out there that are like, one, 100 gallons, that's not a lot. Keep in mind, dummy, this is EDC sized and most people only drink about half a gallon of water a day at most. So in a really good frugal survival situation, as long as you can find water, this will last you 200 days for about 15 bucks and it can slip in your pocket actually took this particular one and actually drank this out of feces infested water and really highly contaminated areas and everyone was testing it you're gonna see a video of that which is freaking awesome but none of us got sick and this thing did everything it was supposed to do which is why it's on this list 
Now the next two items I want to touch on come from Outdoor Extreme Energy. This thing is freaking amazing. This is an 8,000 mAh power bank, but as you can see, it's got a lot of ways to recharge this bad boy. So you have a USB charger so you can recharge it in your car, in the wall, on your laptop, anything like that. But you have a huge plethora of LED lights that actually work really, really, really well. It's really super bright. It also can be charged by solar power, but the great thing is if you have a small carabiner, you can rock this thing in your tent or on your pack to carry it and use it as a lantern. But this is the 10,000 mAh version, and this has more of the waterproofing aspect to it. It's definitely a lot more rugged, but what got us onto Outdoor Extreme Energy is they did contact us in all transparency, but we've been taking their hard drives and chunking them off of our 15 foot balcony, and these things have been surviving. They've been surviving our road trips, our camping trips, and overall, these are just absolutely amazing power banks for the money. All right, the next four items we're gonna try to knock out for you are EDC knives. Now, typically for under $30, you're not gonna find knives you even wanna shake a stick at, typically. But um, these two knives that we're gonna be talking about right here are the CRKT Directive. This is the Tonto Point, and the other one is the Drop Point. Now, I'm not always a super big fan of liner locks, but I will give every single knife a chance. Now, for light duty and everyday carry purposes, which is why most people carry a folder, I love this knife a lot. It's got a lot of good things going on for it. It's got a good choil, so it doesn't get in your way, but it also came razor sharp. Now, this next knife, is the Jettison by CRKT. I like this knife a lot. It's got a deep carry pocket clip. I love the frame lock. It actually came perfectly centered, which is like unheard of for a knife this cheap. It's really, really, really smooth, but like all these knives, they have freaking been super sharp out of the box. I have been EDCing all of these knives every single day, but something I don't get to EDC very often are neck knives. Now this is the Ruger Cordite, which is designed by RMJ Tactical. Now, if anybody knows that company, they are known for super, super, super um, high-end tactical full tank tomahawks and some rugged freaking stuff. So, these guys definitely wouldn't put their name on a budget item, even if it wasn't sharp. And this, oh, this thing is so sharp out of the box. But I've been EDCing this, and it's been doing really, really well for me. It's got a plethora of carry options, but for under $30 to actually be able to have these knives, I couldn't ask for more. Now the next item up is the Extreme Weather Fire Starter by Four Directions Bushcraft. Now this is the prototype. They have a perfected version that they sell on Amazon and they sell on their website, but I'm gonna be showing you guys the Amazon link. But I thoroughly thrashed on this thing and started every fire in every condition I possibly could from wet tender to unconventional tender and this thing performed amazing. For $17 to be able to have fatwood, magnesium, and the ferrocerium rod all in one package, that's freaking unheard of. But one of my favorite aspects about this, obviously, is the fact it throws wicked, wicked amount of sparks. This is Titan Survivor Cord. Now this is awesome because you get the beautiful freaking benefits of actually getting 550 paracord, which is the seven strands. So in a 100 foot of Hank, you end up rocking over 700 feet of usable cordage. But the great thing about this is you get waxed jute for fire starting, you get copper snare wire, for setting traps anything like you need to but you also get 10 pound test monofilament line which you have for fishing so this gives you a load of awesome stuff you can use for fire and starting and survival without having to actually carry any additional gear on you the next item up is this two person extra large soul or survive outdoors longer two person bivy or basically emergency sleeping bag this thing is a reflective sleeping bag it's absolutely freaking massive it ends up rolling down to a ridiculously long length. It ends up being huge. I mean, it's big enough for two people, but the beautiful part about it is it's designed to fold back up into a super, super small package and to be one of the smallest emergency bivvies I have ever seen. The next item up is no stranger to outdoor and survival gear channels, but I still have had a, quite a few people when I give them a recommended gear, piece of gear over the years, they've scoffed at me and told me I was crazy. This is the Special Forces Shovel by Cold Steel. Now, I've been using this for about four years. You can see all the wear marks on it, but I do a good job of resharpening, cleaning, and polishing this thing over and over again because I want to take care of my tools. But um, my really good friend, Zachary Fowler from The Alone Show from season three, uh, we got to hang out with him a little more in person over at um, the Self-Reliance Expo in Dallas, Texas. And um, this was his main item. And a lot of people gave him crap for it, bringing it too, but he ended up being the winner. 
So if a guy can survive almost three months alone using was a $30 shovel, can't be that bad. The next item up are one of my favorite brands of knives on the planet for fixed blade knives. These are this is the Mora Bushcraft Forest. Now, for those of you who wanted a light duty knife with a really super lightweight but ergonomic grip, this thing's going to be just right for you. It has the Garberg kind of design with the way it has a good thick stock, but then it kind of tapers down for that really really nice light duty shaving. But um, for 27 bucks, this is really really hard to beat. Now this next item is from a company called Lighting Ever. Now you guys know me, I'm not really big on showcasing lanterns and flashlights too often because I'm not a flashlight channel like some of them ended up being because flashlight companies will shove everything down your throat. But um, this is a pretty freaking cool lantern and I actually want to take a moment to talk about this. But um, on low mode, this thing is super freaking bright on its own and it has the two side panels but if you want to have brighter light which is the full 600 lumens it'll activate these little side panels as well now what i where i thought about doing this for my kids was letting them use this to do camping trips on inside their tent but if they need a better lighting source they can rock that as well so this is where this comes in handy now it's got these two metal handles so you can hold on to it really easily you can Actually, rock it and put it inside your tent and hang it if you have that uh, attachment on top of your tent but it has a USB charge port so you can charge it in your car anything like that but here's where I want to really touch base on it has got these two separate flashlights so you can actually let your kids have some fun with some flashlights feel all independent but they also can rock the there we go side lantern as well for more ambient light while they're on the go or individually. So let's say they're in the tent in the middle of the night, they've got the lantern on. So let's say they got the lantern on, they're using it, it's hanging up in their tent. But let's say one of them needs to use the bathroom. You can keep this hanging up, you can pop this down, turn on the flashlight mode and see we're going at night. Now the last and final item does from come from the same company, Lighting Ever. Um, and, and in transparency, they did approach me. But um, I am, like I said, I'm not big on search, like big bulky shirts, search lights and whatnot. But I've been using this thing pretty extensively and decided to give it a whirl. Now this thing does rock out a thousand lumens and also a 400 lumen function for the actual main searchlight portion. But on the back, you have your ability to charge it on the vehicle, charge it on the wall, computer, yada yada yada. It does have the USB rechargeable, but when you turn things on, it gives you a battery light indicator. This is good for if you have a power outage, you can use this as an ambient lantern to give yourself some power. And there's also the low mode, which is dimmable, which is nice. But if you keep this in the back of your truck, in your vehicle, you can use this as a blinking, help, 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 I need, you know, rescue because my car's broken down and people will come and find you. So having this for about $30 in your kit. The biggest selling point on this, because a lot of companies who sell cheaper lanterns really don't inspire me very much, but this one is actually rocking two inside two rechargeable 18650 3600 mAh batteries that means you're getting 7200 milliamps of power inside this little tiny portable guy so all in all this is my list for week two of my most recommended survival gear items for under thirty dollars now keep in mind this is my list these are items that i've actually personally owned tested at edc i've also done review videos on and they've done exceptionally well and i feel they deserve to be on my most recommended items list now if you have any comments or have any experience with anything definitely drop down in the comment section of the video let me know what you think of this items but that just about does it for now i hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day I'm out.